This is DJ745 representing the world of reggae.com, live and direct with one half of the Lewis brothers of Inner Circle. Yes, 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 yes. We are sitting in wherever Germany at Reggae Jam. And I'm here with my brother from World of Reggae, Ulipa Reggae. Well, I don't know who love reggae, but I love reggae. And as the man said, what did he say about reggae music? I don't know what you've been told. But reggae music is what? Solid gold. <laughs> Everything good, man. So in a circle, we could go back so far. The group was originally formed in around about the year 1968, and you're one of the founding members. Yeah, well, in 1968, you, you never really know one bag of things about, bag of anything, except that you love music. And at that time, you know, we were just young guys coming out of high school, emulating what we saw around us. And at that time, it was really playing to, in parties. You know, you had bands like Byron Lee, the Vikings, Virtues, all these bands that, you know, Carlos Malcolm. So you just emulate what you saw. Scatter lights, they not born, but as a little kid, you go see. So at that time, I would basically say that scatter lights was mainly the with a little bit of Carlos Malcolm, the only band that was playing purely original music, ska music, original, because Byron Lee, all the other bands, bigger bands that we used to emulate also, played mainly party music, you know, top 40, whatever was popular in the world at that time, but at least Catalyst, you could have Man in the Street, you know, Shankai Shek, call them tune yeah. Yeah, for real. Who was responsible for creating the name Inner Circle and where did the name originate from? I know we're still vexed over the name because it was not something thought out. It was something that came along because we never really had a name. And I think it was playing somewhere. You know, when you're young, you know, and you just, I'm going to say, that's about, oh, that, about, about, about say, all right, in a circle, around, okay, in a circle, I'll go on. And he said, so, when we think it out, we will change the name and make it better. And it, it just never got changed. It just stuck and stuck. And names sometimes conjure things in people's mind, you know, because if you have a name that sounds wicked and raging lion and uh, it's, it's sound, you know, and then in a circle, and then, you know, but anyway, I only have one thing to say. Within the reggae genre and within our life, within the reggae business in Jamaica, our roots run deep. Because when you have things like uh, Cherry or Baby, all them sang the first Israel Vibration album, people don't know these things. We are the ones that produce it and play it all. The music, a lot of Derek Ariad stuff. I was reminiscing with Scratch the other day about when we were down as Black Art student. I don't even know how many songs we played down there with Boris and Bass and Ian and Tin Legs and I mean maybe some of the bigger hits, I don't even know. But our roots run deep, you know. People just see us and believe that is just a la 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 la, a la 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 la. No. And one thing about in a circle is that we know how to entertain, man. And if you ever really say, okay, man, don't just dismiss us and say, oh, you know, say, oh, I'm old. Oh, God. No, come take in a circle show. After that, you can say what you want to say. But I know what you're going to say. Damn, why man, them wicked, I am. Man, them rough, rough and wicked. Are we that? Mm. If we never rough and wicked, we would not be still here after what? Nearly 40 years, man. I know that the lineup obviously has changed from year to year, you know, over the last sort of 40 years, but what is the current lineup of Inner Circle? The lineup has not really changed that much. The only thing that we have really changed is that we would have loved to have Brother Jacob here still, but that was beyond our control in the hands of the Father. And still heard for the 23rd of March, 1980. I still can remember that day. I still can remember where I was. And still hurtful, man. I tell you the truth, because I can't imagine if Jacob was here still, man. But anyway, putting that aside, 
All the lineup has been basically nearly the same. Tauta been here from the beginning, Tauta Harvey, the man that played upon all of Bob Marley album them, keyboard. Lance been here in 30 something years. Michael Sterling been here 30 something years. And it, well, Sketa is the newest addition, although we know Sketa a long time. Uh, you know, Sketa rough, wicked singer. Know the root style, him know every style. So Sketa been been on about, about 10, 15 years. And that's about, yeah. That's, there's no big change, me, Ian, Tauta, Lance, Mike. Yeah, still rolling. Still rolling strong. I said that's the reason why there is longevity within things, you know. Because when you have a family kind of thing, you know, not to say we don't have disagreement or whatever, but when you have a core that's moving in one direction, it is hard to really not be around for a long time. Because where we are in Miami, basically is a day-to-day -day situation. Everybody see everybody nearly every day. Because we have the studio there, and a lot go on at the studio. And the thing that I really like about our situation there is that it is like um, headquarters in Miami for enough man when anybody come into town. So if Sean Paul come in, come on and say, yeah, we're going, brethren, heritage them, super dopes, Michael Fant them, Steve McGregor, you know, so it gives us that connection, a vibe all the time. You talk to any of them, Kamaka Pyramid, Jesse Royal, everybody come to Circle House. Everybody come to Circle House. Even if you eat food and chat foolishness and cost too bad word. And that's the vibe. <laughs> I mean, um, I think it was about 18 months ago where Inner Circle paid tribute to Jacob Miller at Rebel Salute. Yeah. Uh, what a strong performance that was. Yeah, man. And especially when Chronics come out and done the place. <laughs> yeah, man. The dread, the news carrying dread. Oh, dread. Your mouth are going to get you know what? Problem, a ra a a a ra a a e a a. Why my heart still cry, man, GX. Why I tell you to write it? 26 years old, man. Ah, brother. One of those questions that can never be answered, what would have happened if? But, you know, it, it's good the inner circle are still carrying on that me the message music, working alongside some of the new artists, like you just mentioned, the name Chronix. How did you get to work with Chronix, or whose idea was it to team up to do an update? Well, you know, the thing about it is that when at that time when Chronix came was like burning fire, like everybody, Chronix, who's this Chronix? Chronix, Chronix, Chronix. So, you know, since we really tight and good friends with the great Don Carleon, uh, brethren, and Don said, No, Dads, we know the youth man who can do a thing, and I say, All right, and Don us. And he was in Miami too at the time before we even did the collaboration. And he came by the studio and we talk and vibe. I said, Why? Well, it's an Irish youth, humble and thing. And then he came back and we did the collab. And then he came back for the video. You know, humble, most praises. I tell you, man, that youth, I'm going to tell you something. At Rebel Salute, you know, it's a late thing. So you reach there late in the morning. I said, Tell you the character and the vibe of the man. And as such a young man for have that kind of awareness and vibes with him. Because I think Chronix is just 22 or 23 now. He's not very old. Because I thought he was old. Was it 22? So Rebel Salute is a late night thing, morning thing. So it was about 1 o'clock in the morning, was there at the hotel and thing. I said, all right, we're going to go to the venue. I'm going to reach to the venue. I don't know. Some mix up business and... He had like seven or eight people with him, and they were saying like, oh, I let him this and so no one. He said, no, I will stand at the gate with my people and wait till everybody come in. Because I said, all right, me will go in and sit down and then when, when you guys come, you come. No. To his character. That's up, my brethren. Yeah, man, you're going to go far and broad, man. Big. The actual lyrical content of that song, News Carrying Dread, it almost carried on the same message that Jacob Miller had, but really, you know, appealing to like the younger generation, because when you look at the video, you know, there's talk of, you know, not sitting with your cell phone at the dinner table and, you know, sending messages and this and that and talking bad about people. So it, you know, I think that, you know, the song itself does really pay tribute to Jacob Miller. Yes, without a doubt, you know, very innovative and part of Chronics too, you know. 
and he put his heart and soul into it, you know. Because you have even have some artists that will do a thing, but halfway do it. The man is a hundred percent man. No, man, I love chronics, man. I call him a godson, man. Every time I see him, I say, Godson, <laughs> you're good to go, man. Good to go. And the man, so it's not everyone can interpret and sell a song when I'm happy to sing to tell you about it, you know. Three minutes to interpret and sell you and the, 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 the value of that song to you. And he is so, well, man, I have nothing but great, great things to say about the youth, man. Very, very, impressed me a lot, I tell the truth. Bless, man. One other artist that you just mentioned, I think as well, Kabaka Pyramid, who you've collaborated with now as well with the song, We the People Have to Talk. Yeah, well, you see what is happening in the world today? Dark clouds, man. Dark clouds. And with the, the world globally getting smaller, if a pin drop over there, the world know about it in one minute, globally. So it is really up to the people, whatever national tendencies or whatever other political or religious or whatever. We are definitely one people, man. We got to talk before mad people business. These, we have to bring rays of sunshine through these dark clouds, man, and make it better. We are old boy, you know, we're getting up there in the age and everything, and so we are kind of experiencing the world. So I'm appealing to all young people, don't just knee jerk and go off, you know, whatever. Think about it and think about your families and the structure of human, because the days when we was growing up, you know, we never have all these electronic devices and all these internets and all these great things that we don't have now. You know, man, make use of it and talk, man. We the people have to talk, man. We the people must say what is going on. We have the power. We have the power. When you go in the streets or whenever you demonstrate or whenever you talk and tell your friends and everything, man. Yeah, man. And music is also universal power, man. Because many of the young people are influenced through music. Whether it's hip-hop, reggae, whatever drama, genre it is, man. Music is power, because I always say that music is God-given, man. Whether you directly believe in the Father or not, there is some spiritual thing inside of us that moves you and make you gravitate to certain things, whether good or bad. You know what I mean? So everything is good, man. Bless the youth, them, man. Obviously, you're no stranger to touring, so I know that you're sort of touring across the world. And, you know, you just touched on some of the political situations that we seem to be facing as a generation of people. What's your take? What, what do you see is happening right now in the world? Well, as I said before, the, the dark clouds of sometimes not being your brother's keeper. And if we were more our brother's keeper, I think things would be much better instead of being totally nationalistic to where you deal with. I say, well, boy, I don't business with Johnny over there, you know. Me good over here, and, and on top of it, I don't want Johnny to come here neither. So, <laughs> Johnny, stay away. No, Johnny is your brother, man, and the world is, 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 is fierce and full for it. All the world belongs to us, man. We are world citizens, man. And regardless of religious line, regardless of whatever or what, whatever, don't make certain things trump what is good in your heart. Don't make the color of a man's skin or when believe in trump the goodness that is in your heart that you know you're supposed to pay that respect and love. It may sound cliche, but what John Lennon said, imagine if all the people could really be one. No religious barrier, no borders, no what. And you can be, you can believe in what you want to believe in, but still have love and respect for that man too and help him along. And that's what I firmly and truly believe in me as an individual human being on this face of this earth. I truly believe that, man. Talking about the music again, what's in store for Inner Circle now for the rest of 2016 and beyond? Well, 2016 sound frightening. He said 2016. I said, damn, I never thought 16 that we were wading out in the ocean. 2020, 2000. What's there and beyond? Well, we've been making records, single, you know, songs, and I said with the Kabaka thing and with Granics and reaching out and vibing. Um, but we, I think we're going to continue in that way and continue touring. And the thing about it is that 
the more we tour and the more we play, is the more fans we get and more people say, wow, why in a circle we kidding enough? Why in a circle we kidding enough? Boy, the man them not bad. Why the whole boy them rough? Why, why, why? <laughs> so, bridging and bridging, yeah, man. With up on internet, Facebook, book face, who, what, what, uh, what, just fall and get the vibes in, man, because we're not that bad. We still have the vibes and we still have something to offer. I think um, Ian's son, Lunch Money, the man who had that song, um, where well, go again? Bills, 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 pay that bills or whatever. Him, you know, he's coming along really good. The guy's doing stuff now with Nicki Minaj and Pitbull and all the big A-list artists. Them. So I think we might do a little combination with him and somebody else and move a lot in that direction, you know, more, you know. Like I see a lot of stuff that Sean Paul is doing with like this and this. What's her name? S-I-A-C-R. Sia, wicked, Regent, you're big man. Yeah, man, in a circle here till we just roll out. I know, say, reggae jam, jam reggae, sun and sky, boom town, in a circle dead, man. There you have it, Lyron Dyke here with Inner Circle, Lyron Dyke in Germany. Of course, there's still many more dates to go on the big European tour right now. And of course, you can check out the social media websites for all information about Inner Circle. Now, a message to the people that are watching on worldreggae.com. Worldreggae.com. Well, right now, let me tell you something. As a whole, the man in this thing, veteran as super cat would say and you know, a veteran you know, a veteran I'm a veteran i don't really believe in the hype thing you know Whoa, big tour and big millions and big and boy, whoa, big and great and well but i know we're tough and whatever i tell you is the truth in a circle rough and tough we don't we take with light like some lightweight like a man say boy i'm on the in a circle regular lightweight lightweight you know, see how I'm a big. <laughs> Fans, may I tell you, man, just a wee that, man. Dreadlocks can't live in a tenement. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. yeah, right up to bad boys, bad boys. Ladies. Bless.